Hi, it's Romeo Caparasa from Tax Accounting Adelaide. Um, this month I'm going to cover investing in property and why there's many good reasons why you can do it. Um, let's start with when's it great to invest in property? Well, one of the first times, you know, if you're, if you're paying a lot of tax, um, you've got no uh, very high taxable income or, uh, or you're paying at least 30 odd percent in your, in your income tax and you don't normally have many deductions so you go to an accountant and you ask you the question and there's not many deductions then maybe a property is a good thing for you uh, especially investment property um, a another reason is of course it creates wealth faster so you know you, you may have heard around that in Adelaide generally um, property values double every 10 years and that hasn't happened in the last 10 years but you know it, it generally property does go up over time. Why invest in property? Um, so one of the greatest reasons I'm going to explain is that the ATO, the tax system, really highly encourages you to have investment properties. It gives you all these deductions for investment properties. Obviously things like uh, the loan interest um, and things like de deductions for depreciation on the building make it very attractive for uh, people to use it as a way of minimizing tax. Now I'm going to go through an example of that in a second but um, yeah obviously property appreciates over time as I just said before generally people will say that you know property can double over 10 years property values for a long time um, they are going to go up you know given if you've, if you've invested in a fairly good area as well. Um, what I always say to people is uh, property gives you a very high return for little effort compared to you know working and having a business so yeah it's great to have a good job or have a good business but you know everybody who is in that situation should do something additionally and that's invest in things such as in such as in property to to actually give them that actual um, wealth creation element and something that happens overnight over time um, investing in property, yeah, sure, there's there's a lot of work, you know. Initially, it may be, uh, you know, you may go around looking properties with, you know, hours. Um, then, you know, you may have to sign some documents. But you know, overall, it's you know, you may it may take you 20 hours to buy a property, you know, for a whole year, and it's set sort of thing for many many years. Whereas, you know when you work and when you're in business you've got to you've got to do 50 hours or 40 hours a week so um, you, you know I say that it is a high return on 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 your your effort to buy a property because if you do the right thing and make a good investment it can really give you a good return over a long time with a little amount of, of effort and I also think it's great to have this working in the background of you working and having a business or having a business of course one of the great reasons of investing in property is your tenants paying for most of it for you so you know you get rent from your tenant and you know as we'll show you in, the, in our example soon that that gives you a huge step towards owning the property you know it really minimizes the amount of out-of-pocket expense that, that there is to you um, obviously properties owning properties over you know long term um, will help you retire so if you you know you set yourself an aim of aiming to maybe own two or three properties that's that's going to give you you know well on the way of more or if not most of your million dollars that you need to retire on and lastly as I'll show you in the in the example property investment um, in investment properties is is very effective for your taxes and it's what a lot of rich people do and uh, you can do it too it's quite simple here we go we're at our little example here we've got uh, Federica who's uh, who earns eighty thousand uh, dollars she's going to take out a loan for three hundred thousand uh, she's paying about five percent interest at the moment and her property price is four hundred thousand and that 400,000 comprises of land of 260,000 and a building component of 140,000. She's going to receive rent of $390 per week and she's got these uh, rates and expenses including council, water, emergency services levy, land tax, insurance and she's got a property manager and she will have $1,000 of maintenance expenses. 
Okay, so these are just, you know, obviously some estimated figures of the situation. Now, um, Federica, will, you know, she owns this individually in her name, so she'll do her tax return and she will declare her rental property in her tax return and she'll say that, yep, there was income of 20000 um, The interest I've paid on uh, it, which is a deduction, is 15000 The rates and other expenses were almost 3500 Her management property manager fee was 1500 and maintenance fees of 1000 which means her cash loss on the property was $619. So already that's not a huge amount over one year for you to hold a property and it's just costing you cash of $600. Um, you know, most people are going to say yes, that's, that's great. No worries, let's do it. So you're starting to see why it is, you know, a great, a great idea. Now, not to mention that, you know, you keep this property for a long time, it's going to go up and, and give you capital growth as well. Now, also, Federica's home is fairly new, so she can depreciate the building. That uh, deduction comes to three and a half thousand. So we've then all up got on her tax return. She's going to show a loss of four thousand dollars. So that four thousand can offset against her eighty thousand dollar salary. Um, which will give her a positive tax impact. So she'll, at, at the current rate, should should be saving about 34% tax, which gives her a tax saving of uh, $1,400. So that that tax saving, uh, you know, increasing her tax refund because of the losses on the on the rental property, even though it's still good for her, um, has turned her cash cash loss of actually. Um, $600 which you thought was pretty easy to afford has actually you know bumped that up to a cash positive cash flow so she's actually made $800 out of the profit plus she's getting all her capital gains over the years so to highlight um, you know it, it isn't too expensive to hold the property as I said before the tenants paying for most of it in the rental uh, things like the uh, interest uh, and the depreciation give you the big deductions which can actually give you the tax uh, of you know subsidization if you like from the ATO from the tax office that can give you something back in your tax refund every year which is fantastic and helps you own the property and make more money over time um, I'm going to just say there are some risks so um, and these are some things you, you won't probably see at most of the seminars so listen out for these the most important thing is that the example I've just given you, it all falls down if, if there's no taxable income. So um, what you've got to do is uh, make sure you've got uh, income protection insurance so that you know if you're in case of sickness and you suddenly have no income, you've at least got some taxable income to make sure that you get some value from the deductions which I've explained before. Um, at the moment there's a lot of job insecurity around so someone who doesn't have job security uh, as I just said without your income you know owning property isn't going to be easy and it's going to break down the tax benefits of it are going to break down um, something else you won't see in the seminars but I've actually seen practical experience of this um, marriage breaks downs is, is terrible for property investors um, obviously you know the, a, a couple will get married and you know have good intentions and invest in property but if their marriage breaks down and they need to sell uh, settle uh, get rid of properties you know within a short term and not give it the good long term um, 10 20 year investment you know outlook that it needs then you know you're going to have the you're buying property and selling property expenses which can really hurt and of course there is a chance of property crashes there obviously it's fairly rare but you know you you do have to you can't spend this money every day so you do have to put this money into a good area um, I, I think you know holding it long term you should be okay but I've seen recently people in Adelaide you know investing in the northern suburbs and and they've been really horrified by the you know the, the drop in uh, in values of their their properties out there, so yeah, sure there hasn't been property crashes, uh, unlike maybe the the share market, but um, yeah, the, you still got to invest in the right areas to make sure that you do the right thing. So 
it's not just buy any property it's buy a researched good returning right area good outlook suburb uh, to give you the good returns and the last thing is obviously there is some risk of occupancy so um, I'd say to minimize the risk of that you want to have um, a good a good property manager make, making sure that uh, generally you year in year out you've got your property rented out for most of the year I also want to explain you you, you know having a prop, good property investment uh, it's not just about you and going out and finding it on your own you do need a good team around you um, obviously a good accountant uh, such as myself uh, can help you decide you know whether you should buy it in you know an individual name or maybe some other entity uh, whether you or joint with uh, say your partner um, some of the capital gains um, and planning how much capital gains there will be even you know, before you've even bought a property can be good to, to understand how that works um, as you saw in my example it's good to do the sums and, and know exactly how it should look and how how much tax benefits it should give you uh, when you actually look at how much you're spending how much your loan is and uh, an accountant can help you do that obviously having a succession plan so what will happen to the property after you die or uh, or if something happens to you or your wife or your partner um, and also you know if it goes on to your kids it, it, you know is it going to be okay if uh, there's any marriage problems in, in your marriage or their their marriages as well um, and a good accountant can also refer you to a good property advisor so I, I invest I, I'd suggest you have a good property advisor you know a property guru who can you know lead you into research properties for maximum wealth um, sometimes not just in uh, South Australia but also in other states um, you need to have a good finance broker or lender who can give you a good good loan uh, with the features you want and also obviously competitive price uh, it's good to have a good conveyancer which can help be on your side and make sure you legally don't get into trouble in the settlements uh, and in your contracts um, a good insurance broker obviously it's important to protect your assets over the years um, from from risks um, having a property agent I mentioned earlier a good property agent will make sure you get good tenants and um, a good rental re price so maximizing your rental return and also maximizing your occupancy that um, yeah it will be full for uh, fully occupied for uh, as much of the year year in year out as possible um, also your financial planner and uh, your wills lawyer or succession planner can help you as well so yeah if you're thinking about property investment uh, and this seems to uh, be a good idea for you and you're at that time where you think it could really help your taxes or help you create wealth down the track um, you, you, you must see us we'll, we'll help go through the right structure for you um, also teach you about maximizing your deductions in, in your tax return um, also doing your sums uh, for, to seeing how the, the actual figures will pan out for you um, and to see have a good idea of how much tax benefits um, will occur for you and also we can help you refer you to the good team such as you know a property advisor or or finance broker or insurance broker so yeah if you do need to chat to us about your property investment please book in either on our website at taxaccountingadelaide.com or on our phone number 8337 4460 and good luck in your property investments.